Yeah, where I had a period in my life where I was so angry, everything I said sounded angry. Yeah. I had this audition for this show. Gregory Hines, uh -huh. rest his soul, oh, had, wow. had, had, was gonna do a sitcom and I had this audition for it. And it was one of those things where they were really far behind. And right before I was gonna go in, they went to lunch. Ugh. So then it was another half hour Ugh. and they ate or whatever. And you're just and festering came in. and you're stewing. No, and, no, but I wasn't mad. I was nervous uh -huh. because I was going to producers, which used to scare the shit out of me yeah. back in the day. So I was like, fuck, blah, blah. Yeah. So I came in, I was like, Bill, and I knew I was introverted and I knew I was angry. Uh -huh. and, I, and I was like, you, you gotta say something social. Uh -huh. So they see you're a good guy and maybe you can book this. And I came in there, but everything I said sounded angry. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. So I came walking in, they go, hey, they're like, Bill, how you doing? I'm like, great, how was lunch? It's how I said it. But in my head, I was like, great, how yeah. was your lunch? But that's not how I said it. So it was great, how was lunch? And then they just, so they were like, oh, no, I mean, we just, we got behind, we're sorry. Oh. And then I was like, oh, no, no, I, I, oh, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. And then they go, all right, let's do the scene. And this guy taps and I look over and it's Gregory Hines. Oh, God. Because he was so into the show oh. and such a pro that he didn't skip the auditions. He wanted to see if he vibed with somebody. Oh, my God. And I went God. in and just was like, oh uh, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, ba. and he was all amazing. And I remember he was hitting me with the sides. Like, oh, like come on, man. So let's, casual. Let, let's be playful. Let's play, yeah. Let's play. And I was like, da, 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 da. That's the worst. And just That's drove home in my 88 Honda Accord, just like, fuck, uh, fuck, <laughs> window down, fuck. <laughs> the thing was, is I'd watched Gregory my whole life. Yeah. So just that one blip was just something that like, it was more like those moments in life, I don't know why, come back to me when I'm in the shower. <laughs> I don't know why, and I'll be in the shower. And then when I hear them, I try to shout them out of my brain. <laughs> when I think of them, and I'll just be like watching all of a sudden, I just picture, hey, how was lunch? And I see Gregory Hines, and I just, in the shower, just literally go like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> that must be and, so funny and to if hear. my wife is close yeah, by she's like say. are you alright you're right. it's like oh no I just got a, I got a Charlie horse <laughs> I don't know why I don't just say yeah, it's like, are you thinking about Gregory Hines again? yeah I was thinking about this time I bombed an audition with Gregory Hines <laughs> well and yeah it just you know what's funny is there's, it doesn't happen as much but it, it comes from a place of self-hatred yeah <laughs> where I, I hate myself for that <laughs> where you told such you I, I having listened to your show for a while you have I think gotten you know a lot better about letting things go and you've talked about that you're really open about that but you had a really funny thing happen to you when you went to see to kill a mockingbird um <laughs> there was a guy sitting a few rows behind you uh, and it was it made us christian and i we were listening to it it made us laugh so hard because it's just it's such a small thing like the, what the, did i say that he said it was so funny. it was um it's so it's soda pop in there like it was it, it was the, the the moment where uh the yeah, town goes, drunk is he goes, it's, soda pop yeah it's revealed that the like, like he figured it out <laughs> yes. and then another thing you got the, the the fucking guy with the mental issues yeah. who <laughs> never speaks the whole time right before Boo. he speaks he goes say something <laughs> Yeah, that like like that he was, was some <laughs> miracle. He was like this fucking yeah. ghost whisperer of, of fucking <laughs> yeah. people who haven't talked in a year. So Bill's watching To Kill a Mockingbird and a guy a few uh. rows behind. Just, it's basically just like spoiler, spoiling the, the show. And he's clearly read it or seen it and knew what was coming. And there's this running thing where like the town drunk, it's revealed that he he actually is. is it's, also a it's also a story that has been around longer than right. this guy's been alive. <laughs> right, and right. he's acting like it just came out and he reads people so well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's it made me laugh so hard when you were like, God, I wish I wish I had the balls to just turn around and stare at him for the rest of the play. Yeah, and just look like make him that uncomfortable, make him. But I, you know I, what it is now. Now I actually, I I wish that I could hang out with them because yeah. what you could as an Ugh. getting some acting roles now, what you could take from that guy. Yeah, the insecurity. Well, just trying to see where does it come yeah. from. Yeah, totally. How does he do it? And then just set him up to see if he'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, it's in a different form. And, and just and then and then try different reactions to it. Yeah. To see how it, it does it fill him up? <laughs> does it deflate him? Uh when people annoy you when things like that happen, because I think that's one of the reasons I relate to your comedy and I love your show. There how do you let go of things like that? I mean, I guess in the shower, but how <laughs> how do you how long does it take for you to get over I don't know what happened. Like I was a really like, you know, angry negative person and I just sort of chipped away at it. I think when people watch my act, they think probably think I still am, but I'm not. I'm a really, I can find the daylight. 
You yeah. know what I mean? I think that's yeah. just something doing the road, how depressing it can be and yeah. lonely and everything. It's just like I had to like, okay, okay, I can sit in this or I can try and get something out of this day. Like, okay, I'm in fucking Denver. Like, what do people do here? And I, I started with sporting events. Uh-huh. You know, uh, outlets, you'd find outlets. Yeah, with just that, yeah. restaurants or I'd find a rehearsal space where I could just jam on some drums for like an hour. Just yeah. something. And now uh, Nia comes with you sometimes before. If you go to like, like when you went to Ireland, she'll, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, if I go to a cool place, yeah. she's all about <laughs> yeah. supporting me. She's not coming to Wichita. I just feel like you've been lonely <laughs> lately and I feel like Rome would be a good place for us to reconnect. Uh, uh, no, yeah. she's no dummy. I remember, and, I, and it's not like she became this person. She was always that person because I remember when I was dating her a long time ago, which New York is always so lonely when I'm not when I'm not here with her because it's, it's just, even though uh-huh. they're tearing down everything, but like, I still oh, know, you- oh, I was in there. You know, there's a bar where I, I just remember... Like our second date, I remember when I, I um, walked into the bar. At, uh, she was sitting at the bar and she had this white shirt on, this button down shirt. And she uh-huh. just, she looked radiant. Uh-huh. And I remember, uh, and of course, she fucking, she took it to the dry cleaner and they lost it. It's uh-huh. like my favorite shirt that she had. Because that was like the first time I was just like, you know, wow. I already felt something. The second time, I was like, who is this person? And every time I walk by that bar, I, I haven't even been in it. I won't uh-huh. go in it unless she's there right yeah. so like uh i walk by and every time i walk by i just picture her looking over her shoulder smiling when i walked in wow. still to this day so that's cool um i don't even remember the question that's I'm, cool i'm so vividly yeah. remembering that wow. so um you, that was your no, second no, day no i'm saying but from being day, in new york no, alone. so when i was with her i remember early on i was doing um i had a new year's date and uh-huh. i was and i was doing kickers <laughs> in livonia michigan uh-huh. it's a great gig yeah but I was just like, hey, you want to go to, uh, you want to hang with me New Year's? I got a gig. And she's like, where is it at? I go, Livonia, Michigan. <laughs> she goes, Livonia, Michigan? And I go, yeah, you want to go? She goes, no. <laughs> and I laughed. I go, what? She goes, I'm not leaving New York City. It's just like, Bill, I love you and I would love to have a kiss of the countdown. But like, I'm not having Livonia, Michigan that... as my backdrop. And I was just like, I mean, I got to respect that. No, that's such an attractive quality. But j- just that honesty. Well, that's why it's so compelling listening to you guys talk on the podcast because you're just so honest and you hold your ground. And, it can, and you know, you'll... Yeah. you'll That can lead to some epic fights though. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. I've, I've, I've... Standing your ground can really lead to some... <laughs> yes. At some point, it's like, all right.